My latest project took me a bit longer than I had originally scheduled, which is why, and I do apologize, why it's taken me so long to upload a new video. But it's finally here. And those amazing people who got in on the ground floor with me over at Patreon, they actually got to see a sneak peek of what this was going to be. The drive-in theater where I sent those Sputniks, well, they asked me to make a large sign pointing the way to the concession stand, the restrooms, the makeout spot, all the important areas of the drive-in. But they wanted to make sure that those directions were changeable. So here's what I came up with. Junk shop hammer. Here, there's a bit of tension in this thing. That's number wang! So about that tension that I mentioned earlier, uh, I actually noticed it when I cut this window. It was bowing inward. Um, and it's something that I was hoping would self-correct once I cut this side off. And it did. This window is pretty much back to normal. Uh, but as you can tell, this has uh, kind of tacoed. Now, what to do about this? Uh, well, I thought about, uh, I don't know, putting some kind of spreader in here, pushing it out. And when I weld these, the back plate on here, that would keep it in place. But I think that may just bow the window again. So I'd have to weld something in the middle here, which I don't really like. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty angular design to begin with, so I, I think I'm just going to leave it and pretend it was always meant to do that. I've got the robot going in the background right now. Sorry. Whoa! 
Whoa! Whoa, that's crazy! Did I get the... The odds of me actually catching that on camera. That's amazing. Ah, robot's done. Thank you, robot. Or should I say, Domo Arigato? Ah. I'm Instagramming the cut while I'm waiting for the cut. Meta. You know, I, I guess I could use my, my saw horse instead of standing here like an idiot. By the way, I've got a video on this. Check it out. Oh, there it goes. I need to readjust this thing, I think. Ah, I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, I know this seems completely ridiculous, me standing this up like this, up on top of this table, but um, I've tried laying it down and clamping this big foot to it, and it's just, it's it's proven impossible to get straight. So uh, this is going to be the best way for me to make sure that this thing is nice and plumb in both directions, and I'll be able to comfortably weld it up here too. Also, I have now lifted this thing up here four times just to get this shot. Look at that! That is satisfying. Keep climbing up and down this ladder to start and stop this. I forget I have a remote control. It's alright, I need to burn off this chub anyway. This sign is going to be way too heavy for me to move around once I get both of those pylons together. So, um...
This is in the wrong place. what you do with it. This is turning into the AVE channel. Hey, 3D. So I gotta say, the rails for these directions turned out really nice. Anytime they want to upgrade or expand the drive in, all they gotta do is turn a couple of set screws and they can change these as often as they want. Now as you saw, I did have to change the design of these pylons a little bit, right in the middle of fabrication. And I shot a little bit of video explaining in more detail about how I solved my little taco problem. I'll be uploading that and possibly one or two more bonus videos over at Patreon. So if you'd like to see those, or if you'd just like to help support my channel, follow the link down in the description. Patrons at 
every level get access to the bonus videos. I've got some more great projects coming up. I'm just about to jump on the next one, so follow me over Instagram to see some previews. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.